My research is about how atmosphere works and you know, fairly broad scale for making uh, forecasts for weather and also climate projections, what they call projections. Um, models are used. It's important to, to, uh, to make the model as accurate as possible. CSAD stands for the Center for Science in the Schools. And we're a center in the College of Education focused on collaborating with scientists and engineers on their research grants and bringing that research into K-12 settings. We applied for a grant to the National Science Foundation in collaboration with Dr. Lee and decided that a research experience for teachers is what we wanted to offer. This is my ninth year as a teacher here at Bald Eagle. It's an offshoot of our energy unit. We thought that, okay, it would be really good to analyze the, uh, the satellite-based data from NASA that's publicly available. It's about 20 to 21 years worth of data. If you multiply all that out, that's over 100 million data points that are in this data set. It would take more than the rest of the school year from now to June to, for a student to create one of these by hand. We reached out to the Institute for Computational and Data Sciences about putting together a supercomputer cluster. They're learning uh, some computer science, computer programming skills in the process of this. By instructing the computers as to what we want to do using a programming language like Python, uh, we can get the computers to find means, create scatter plots. I had them for honors physics and then AP physics the next year. It was a special project we got to do around the end of the school year when things were winding down. I remember it was the first time I ever coded anything, and so that was really odd, because it was like learning a whole new language. It was something I really took an interest in, and I think it sparked kind of where I went into college and my major. I think students who do this get more out of this than anything else we do in class. It's really good to see that um, students get excited about science. They prove to everyone that, hey, high school students are capable of a lot more than we think they are uh, in terms of STEM, in terms of just like what, what they're able to do if they're given the opportunity. 